the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords card is titled Guaranteed Success, and it shows Robert Flood's version of the Tree of the Sephiroth. In Dr. Robert Flood, the English Rosicrucian, Life and Writings, the Tree of the Sephiroth is described with its roots in heaven, and the text reads, The ten Sephiroths are exhibited in man. Thus God, mind, intellect, reason, memory, strength, fantasia, internal sense, external sense, and will. So, again, the different attributes of Jehovah are exhibited in the Sephiroths. Take Jah and Hokmah, for instance. This is divine wisdom which is the word in the mission sent into the world to dwell in the minds of men. The Sephiroth from the leaves of a tree, of which the Tetragrammaton is the trunk. In Flood's illustration, some of the Sephiroth are on different sides of the tree, and it differs from the Kircher tree, which was designed later. But the Sephiroth, they appear in the same order. The letters of the Tetragrammaton, they're written down the trunk of the tree. In the Tetragrammaton formula, the seventh card represents another cycle of Yod, but since the initiate has gained life experience and is now able to handle his challenges, success is only a matter of completing the task. The Tree of the Sephiroth, with its roots in heaven, provides an opportunity for the seeker to climb the tree and return to paradise. Although the task of climbing the tree may not yet have begun, the initiate is provided a guaranteed path of return if he or she only chooses to embark on the journey. The seventh Sephiroth is Netzach, which means victory. <laughs>